What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We got SCP 4049 Beast Pit. Now, why does this look like a tag on a Titan bit? You know what I'm saying? I seen the Beast Titan, I seen the SCP. I'm like, yo, we gotta check it out. So let's go ahead and see what, what the rubber got for us today. Viewer discretion is advised. I sat clutching my rifle, trying not to make a sound. Hot tears <laughs> rolled down my cheeks as I shook with fear, fully aware that my rifle could do nothing against it. I hung my head low Whoa. as I heard it rip my father into pieces. He told me to run to hide, but I froze. Seeing my hesitation, he did what any loving father would do. He got its attention. I was able to flee for my life. I thought it was a bear or some sort of creature that humanity Bro, they just got titans walking around. He has yet to discover. But no, nature doesn't create anything like that. Its hide was tough. It had arms twice as long as its body, with claws meant for evisceration. If anything, it looked like an animalistic human, but severely warped in appearance. It was fast and strong. Once it was finished with my father, oh my I knew it would come for me next. No way I'm gonna just sit there and die without trying. I pulled out my pair of pistols. Pair of then pistols. I jumped I out from behind the tree blade. and let loose a flurry of bullets Blake at the thing's body, <laughs> but the bullet sprinkled harmlessly onto the ground. That grotesque, human-like face looked at me and grinned. It pitied me. Suddenly, multiple men and women in black tactical gear stormed the area out of nowhere. They bombarded the creature with bullets from multiple directions with guns I've never seen before. After a grueling fight, they finally put the thing down while I slumped next to my father's half-eaten corpse. One of them, who I now know as Captain Derek, approached me. Do you want to forget what you saw here today, son? I want to kill them. Good choice. Bring him along. That You've way, got guts, little man. That we could said, use more spirit like yeah, that. He said, I'm trying to be in the team. Fast forward 20 years. The same woods, 20. same abomination. Or is it a different one? But it doesn't matter. That boy, Just gotta kill it. That boy grew up to be Levi Ackerman. Whatever it takes. Hello, everybody. I'm the rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keter, Keter. Class Object SCP 4049. SCP-4049, also known as Beast Pits, refers to an extra-dimensional space that is currently only accessible through a steel door located in what used to be an arms factory in Wyoming, USA. The space itself Wyoming consists is of a circular room bro. with a dirt Not a real floor, place. with walls and a ceiling made of marble. All testing on these materials have failed as they exploded upon crossing into our dimension. Filling the room are three sets of tombstones, set in a circular pattern with an empty space at the center. The same inscription is written on each tombstone, Hound. The language used has been identified as Ancient Greek. SCP-4049-A refers to a phenomenon that occurs to males fascinated with hunting in the states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. At random, when any of these men happen to be praying, they will spontaneously combust and leave behind a non-anomalous arrow tip along with their clothing. Immediately after combustion, a new tombstone will appear in 4049. On the other hand, SCP-4049-1 refers to the entities that arise from the ground within 4049. While they vary slightly in appearance and mass, they share the following characteristics human organs but with two hearts, reinforced bones and spine, and an enlarged mouth to hold more teeth, distorted face of one of the combusted men, screeches for speech, extraordinarily long, clawed arms that are incredibly fast and strong, extremely muscular legs, hardened skin akin to steel, quadrupedal, and most importantly, hostile to animals and humans. SCP-4049-B refers to an event in which an instance of 4049-1 breaks free from the ground. This occurs either when someone stands at the center of the graves, or approximately 60 days after the last SCP-4049-A event. These entities will then try to break through the steel door and cross into our dimension. Their objective has yet to be determined. They will, however, kill all they to take down the wall is what they trying to do. All who stand in their way. It should also be noted body. that the longer it takes for a 4049-B event to occur, the larger and more powerful the instance of 4049-1 will become. SCP-4049-2 is a ghost or spirit who is hostile towards the Foundation and humanity in general. Not only is it capable of human speech, but it can also take control of electronic devices. This spirit has been identified as female and is theorized to. Can, can this SCP control um, 049 or not 49? Uh, is that 39? The computer, the, the computer that always uh, makes the containment breach in every game. 
Can, can you control that? Can you control that? ...be the leader and source of all anomalous activity related to 4049. After angering 4049-2 by sending in D-Class personnel, the largest, strongest, and most deadly instance of SCP-4049-1 appeared. It towered at around 30 feet in height. 30 took feet? took a great deal of effort to slay. The following is a recorded feed from Corporal Lancaster, who took part in the battle against this instance of 4049-1. Lancaster's camera feed showed the towering instance of 4049-1 roaring, unnerving the men. Fire! We can shoot at it all day long, and it won't do jack. Where the hell is the sound cannon? It weighs over a thousand pounds. We've got to hold it here so Iota 9 can bring the darn thing over. Watch out! Two large claws swept the area, slicing a few men and trees in half. Only Lancaster and Diaz survived the sudden attack. Diaz pulled the pins off several grenades and chucked them towards the instance. They exploded right below its feet, but that only made it angrier. Barely a scratch on this monster, and I'm all out of nades. What do we do now? Before Lancaster could respond, a huge shockwave surged through the area, knocking them to the ground. 4049-1 oh, This fight is crazy! Blasting off several chunks of flesh from its body. Oh, hell yeah. Iota 9 made it. I've waited a long time to kill a monster like you. Come get some. Laughing and boy, I as Iota know. 9 continuously Bro, you fired heavy machine gun, on a swivel? Lancaster pushed aside an Iota 9 squad member to take control of the heavy machine gun. He aimed it directly at the beast's head, pelting it with a rain of bullets. Enraged, 4049-1 swiped another claw at the squads and killed a few more men. It Whoa. disabled both the machine guns and the sound cannon. Lying on the ground, Lancaster struggled to regain his footing. Once he did, cause? he immediately charged at the instance with nothing but his combat knife. Oh, this man's crazy. One swipe of its claw sent him flying back to a tree, uh. breaking his arm. Damn it, nothing's working. Think, boy, think. You've got gusto, boy. I like that. But even so, with all your training, your skills, firepower, there are some things we humans simply can't win. That's when you need a little help. What is Here, that? Take this. Then we got to a nice little SCP. But remember, only use this as a last resort. Got it? He about to pop Left that with perk. no other choice, Lancaster activated an anomalous armor prototype. Diaz watched Whoa. in shock as a tactical exit. Yo, did he just become... <laughs> Yo, that boy just became a scout, an SCP scout. Skeleton what in the world? Combat. Lancaster lunged at 4049-1 as it swung one of its massive claws at him. He blocked it, but grunted in pain as many of his bones were heard shattering. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! He shouted as he fired a thaumaturgical energy blast from the palm of his armored wow. hand. It pierced the skull of 4049-1, killing it instantly. The surviving squad members well cheered go him kill on. Them all off. Lancaster fell to the ground in agony from his injuries. The armor was completely drained of power from using the attack. Lancaster was later reprimanded by the site director for using the highly experimental armor. As for dealing with SCP-4049-2, researchers have determined that the following measures must be taken. Increasing efforts to prevent hunting in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Lobbying for animal rights and preservation of natural habitats. It is believed that 4049-2 is a spirit angered by the desecration of the land, the slaughter of animals as sport, and the lack of respect for the environment in general. Instances of 4049-1 are therefore theorized to be the punishment for humanity's so-called arrogance and carefree hunting of wildlife by 4049-2. Uh, wow. Nah, that CB was super crazy. Nah, I, I really like that one. That was really good. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments and per usual. Uh, go ahead, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, bro. I like this one a lot. That boy that became a Titan Slayer. Uh, eh, it's a really good, yo. I like what the rubber did with this one. I really did.